Um, I mean, pretty obvious. Tough game for you, Coach. Just, I mean, it kind of snowballed early. What did you kind of see? And I mean, that's what were the biggest reasons for maybe not being able to get it turned back around? Yeah, you know, just extremely disappointing. Um, hats off to them. Uh, great team, great coaching staff at Iowa. Coach Francis did an awesome job. And uh, just uh, got behind early, and momentum just got away from us. And just mistakes, you know, just mistake after mistake. Uh, can't do that. We talked about that so many times with this team. They don't make very many, and we knew we couldn't make very many, and we did, and they did, and uh, they made us pay early for those. And a couple pick sixes are pretty devastating. It's tough. Um, the defense did some solid things overall, but not still not good enough. Um, offense is really, really disappointing for me. Um, I take responsibility for it, but uh, we got to get some things fixed. Zach and Tom Brew. Thank you. Just sort of what. What do you try and, and maybe what wasn't working specifically today when things just sort of felt like they snowballed a little bit, especially when you talk about the mistakes and it just sort of seemed like things almost were compounding on one another. Anytime you could get momentum turned even a little bit, you kind of ran into another obstacle. Just what wasn't breaking you out yeah, of Yeah, you know, a lot of them were self-inflicted, but, you know, like I said, there's, there's always resistance. That just creates those issues. And so uh, we have to but we have to play better. I mean, we have to execute. We just didn't do that. You know, you can't can't turn the ball over, you know, and, and – uh, um, Bottom line is, is we didn't run the football very effectively. We knew it was going to be hard to do that against these guys, but uh, we got to do a better job. And uh, just a couple of bad run fits, you know, just guys getting lined up right and getting their eyes right and being disciplined. Um, I mean, it's just you got to play high-level football right out of the gate against a team like this, and, and we did not. And uh, when you don't, this is what happens. And so um, just very frustrating, disappointing, but uh, it's a long, long season, so it's not going to, one game does not define us. Either way, we knew we had to line up again next week regardless. Tom then does that. I know you said it's frustrating and disappointing, but is it also surprising? Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't expect this to happen. I thought it was going to be a great football game to come down and finish. That's what I thought. So, uh, very, very, that part's not what I expected. Dustin the Rabbit. You know, as you mentioned, just the pick six. Is just, what did you see was up with Mike today in general? Like yeah, he just seemed time. off, you know, and, and uh, he's practiced well. Um, you know, they did a great job. They didn't do, they did anything different. You know, they, do, they do what they do, they do it well. And, very disciplined in their secondary, and, and they made him pay for some. You know, after the first one was a tip ball, you know, those things sometimes happen. And, and then, uh, you know, just the timing of receivers, I think just the more you do that, the better you get at it. But, but yeah, it was just, uh, you know, obviously, I need to watch the film, figure out exactly how to, to get some of these things corrected. But the obvious things are, you know, you throw interceptions and, and you turn the ball over, and if they you know, score touchdowns off of them immediately, it's pretty tough. You know, so, but, uh, and even special teams, I mean, we didn't punt the ball very well. I know we got a new punter, but that's no excuse. And he's got to get better. You know, he never kicked in a game before, and it showed. You know, and it just uh, it was a, it was disappointing uh, to be able to not have those. They're going to kick the ball out of bounds. We had ten guys on the field that last punt return. So uh, to me, it was just uh, it was, it's not not Indian football. Raven and Kevin. With Penix's three interceptions, I think it was career high for him. They were all in the first half. Just, what, did you see hesitancy? What did you see that, that led to maybe his worst game since he's been at IU? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. You know, I, I think you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I, I think it's hard to, to probably come back from some things mentally, you know, and, and uh, but it takes time, you know, and, and uh, unfortunately, you know, we had a chance to, to play a high caliber team right out of the game, so there was no there's no ramp up time, you know, right for practices to full bore. So you know, he didn't have a chance to get that, but that's that's what you got to do. That's the nature of this. The way this game is played and, and for you know, college football. So, but yeah, he did definitely, he definitely looked out of sync to me, you know, and not comfortable in the pocket. And uh, but we'll we'll get that fixed. And uh, uh, like I said, it's uh, we got knocked down. Now we got to get back up and keep swinging. Kevin and Jim. I know uh, Coach you had high expectations for the <coughs> offensive line, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, uh, Caleb Jones. I think got three penalties and stuff. But just your overall evaluation. I know you didn't move some people around there too, though. Yeah, you know, I just I'm disappointed too. I thought they they didn't play as well as I expected to, and so that's uh, I got to get that fixed. We got to get that fixed, and so I, I, I they're better to me than they showed today. They have to be. I know they are. I've seen it. I uh, expect it, and so you know, not good enough. When things aren't good enough, you make adjustments and you fix them. So that's what I have to do. Jim we will. Macon. Defensively, coach, the teams just seemed to step behind. They weren't awful, but they just, uh, the secondary was a little loose, couldn't get pressure on the quarterback on Petrus, and just seemed to give him enough time to be comfortable back there. Yeah, he got a lot of second down throws, I thought, which hurt us, you know. It's obviously, it's, it's a, not your third down uh, situation. I don't know what the numbers were on third down, um, but uh, um, 
for four of twelve on third downs, you know. So it was the second downs that really hurt us, you know. And that's that down where you gotta be able to apply pressure. It was a threat of the run. We got such a great running back and he is talented. Uh, a lot of respect for him. But I think that's it. We got a bit better on that that down right there. I didn't think I think it was good enough on first and second downs. To me that was the issue for our defense. The third downs, like you said, that I thought they did a good job and the stats show that, but it's it's all it's it's cumulative, you know. And uh, those are always downs that I've always felt to be challenging, you know, because you don't want to sacrifice your run fits, but you got to get pressure. So we got we got to work on that without pressure. And that's the play actions off of those where he, he had time and he found some receivers downfield. We got to have some tighter coverage. We got to, you know, we need to be more aggressive in that regard because we got really good athletes back there that can play some more tighter coverage. And, and I thought it was too loose. All right, Matt Cohen, and then we'll wrap with Zach. Just following up, I guess you know, in in you had a new defensive coordinator in this game. How would you? You know, from what you saw of a, of a Charles Moore on, on the sidelines for the first time, and uh, what do you think of, of him and how he called the game and how he became? Well, you know, I think first of all, um, amidst some you know, negative stuff thrown in your face right away, I thought he was very calm. He just kept coaching, kept teaching, didn't overreact, uh, didn't get uh, frazzled, wasn't flustered. Uh, There's a lot of communication from the press box, a lot of things being discussed and drawn up on the sidelines. And, trying to find some answers for that. So that's what you want to see. You know, I just didn't always execute, though, uh, I feel like. And I know in these first games are always hard because you got such a wide expanse of things you're trying to prepare for. Uh, they may do this, they may do that. And you got some new personnel you're trying to adjust to. Tight end-wise was a little bit of a guessing game for us as far as how they were going to use them and in some way, especially the new guy, number 85. But, but still, just I thought uh, I would say solid. Uh, they, I want to be better. You know, I want to see us, you know, in games like that, when the offense is struggling, I want the defense to take the game over and create takeaways and create field position and maybe even score if we have to. You know, special teams need to score. Somebody's got to step up when the offense is struggling. So uh, that, to me, is the expectation for that side of the ball, and it's no different than what I was calling, and that's just what I want to be able to do. So, uh, but uh, did do some good things. I'm not going to sit here and act like it was you know, completely um, a certain way, but at the same time, no, no. But we win and lose as a team. Zach, last one. I guess, forgive me, procedural, but... To, and when Mike comes out late, is that basically just not wanting to keep him out there and just sort of giving Jack some run, or was there any health concern dual, with him? I would say there was, it was a dual purpose. Number one, you know, I felt like it was wise to get him out of there. You know, I just if he had got injured in that situation, I think we would have really had some regrets about that. And number two, Jack needs to play. You mm -hmm. know, and Jack has played, and I wanted Jack to play. And, and uh, so, uh, but this is so that those were the two reasons for it. And I, I was the one that actually told the offense that's what I wanted us to do. You know, so I just felt like it was the right thing to do. And then, sorry, just uh, Monster? Yeah, we're still, you know, he's, uh, yeah, I'm concerned about Monster. So he's, he's got, he got some things we got to figure it out. So I did not know for sure, but. Uh, All right, thanks, Tom. All right, have a good night. Have a good night. We'll have Ryder.